If you took all the medical malpractice cases in the United States, probably the most common single type of case is an infection case. And sadly, so many of those actually occur in hospitals. People think, gee, the last place you ought to get an infection is in a hospital, when in reality, it's one of the most common places for people to get an infection. We've handled countless infection cases over the years. Either people contracted infections that they shouldn't have gotten, or even more common is people had an infection but it wasn't caught in time. The proper antibiotics weren't given. Surgery wasn't done in time. The critical thing with infection is to catch it early on. We've had any number of cases dealing with infections that weren't caught in time and patients have gone on to die or have other very, very serious injuries. If the infection isn't caught in time, that's where you get into the real problem. Infections can travel to vital organs, be at the heart and cause endocarditis. They can go to the brain and cause any number of very, very serious conditions. When it gets into the bloodstream and is sepsis, it can cause death. Whether it's one of these more common infections, whether it's a less common infection, the key is always the same. Catch the infection in time, identify it in time, and make sure that you give the proper antibiotics in time. But sadly, that doesn't always happen. That's when people call us and when they do call us, chances are we've handled an infection case very similar to theirs at some point in the past.